so excited for today's video because I went to Sephora and picked up a bunch of goodies from Glossier. This brand, it is now available at Sephora and I think it's time for us to see what's up with all these products. I have a disclaimer, if you're looking for any type of coverage beyond very, very sheer, this is not gonna be the products for you. And for my babes that they're dramatic, they're extra, they like the whole full beam, this brand, it's gonna be a little. <laughs> but on the other hand, there's something interesting about this brand that is calling my name and it's making me wanna show you guys. This is gonna give you more like the makeup, no makeup look, the clean girl aesthetics, the whole vibe. It's going to be very little, very light. These products are really designed to bring your natural beauty out. And hey, why not? This is also the type of vibe that I like for during the summer, so I think we might find something good right here. I have a lot of products from skincare, makeup, body care, fragrance, etc. But in today's video, we're only going to be playing with makeup. The packaging is very minimalism, nothing crazy, it's whatever, white with a little bit of like pink, the name, all the info. And we're gonna start with the Perfecting Skin Tint. This is $26, made in Italy. It comes comes with one ounce and it's available in 12 shades. Picked up the shade 8G. It is for medium skin tones with neutral undertones. And this is like a dropper situation right here. And the consistency, it is very liquory. As you can see, it actually went on me because it is super runny. Wow, and to the touch, it feels like nothing. I think this is gonna be the perfect match for me. You're definitely gonna get the most coverage if you blend it with your fingers, even though I don't like to use my fingers. And you can already see what it's doing to my skin. It did even on my skin and it gave me a beautiful glow with and without. With your fingers, it was super easy and quick to blend. And I love the fact that it's not sticky or tacky, it's not thick, and it doesn't feel greasy or oily at all. I'm gonna apply a few pumps right here directly on my brush. You do have to apply a few because the consistency of this product, it is extremely lightweight. And even though this product doesn't really have coverage because it's not giving me any type of coverage, to be honest with you, it did even on my skin tone, it took away whatever little redness I had going on. And it made my skin look better, period. Look. Even though you can clearly see everything, all my hyperpigmentation, my scars, and all that. Wow, the skin looks nice. And it's more like a wash of color. I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here on top of my pores. Just like a little pump. And I'm gonna blend it right here in the spot because I am noticing that it is helping me with the appearance of my pores. You see? They're a lot more noticeable right here. I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here on my brush for my nose. Let's see how much it covers the little situation that I have going on right on the peak of my nose. You see how much better it looks? This is crazy, but I'm actually liking this product and a lot. And I really didn't think I was gonna like it at all because this is giving me nothing, no type of coverage, but it's making my skin look smoother and just so much more perfected and it looks beautiful. Even though it looks like my skin, it's okay. For those days that I just wanna rock my bare skin and I don't wanna go in with any type of makeup, why not go in with a few drops of this and just blend it all over your skin with your fingers really quick, pam, 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 and look at the difference. With and without. You can actually see my redness. 
in here and you don't see it right here. Everything looks nice and even. In my mind, I was like, yo, they're not even gonna be able to see it in camera. So this product is just gonna be like, you know what I mean? But if I see it, you see it. And I don't know about you, but... Oh, wow. I'm impressed because this product really have no coverage. And it just made my skin look so stunning and flawless. Let me go in with a few <laughs> more drops. Like, I swear that I'm liking it so much that I just want to, like, go ham and keep putting it on. I applied about four, five drops. And then, look, without... And then now let me show you what. And where I like it the most, it is right here on my pore area. And I like that it's giving me a natural finish. It's not too dewy or too glowy, but at the same time, it's not too matte. It's giving me more like a soft focus effect. Totally me. And it is extremely breathable, lightweight, basically water. Perfection for summer. Now we're gonna go in with the Stretch Concealer. It is made in Canada. I think everything here, it is made in different places. This baby, it is $20 and it comes like this in a pack. It's also available in 12 shades because they're supposed to be matching with the skin tint, but I picked up something a little lighter. This is the shade G9 because I need my concealer to be bright. This is a buildable concealer that is going to cover everything from dark circles to blemishes and redness with a dewy glowy finish. So this is the shade G9. It is a warm, medium shade. Let me pick up a little bit more because you can barely see the swatch. And the finish is actually very dewy. I'm gonna be picking it up with the Morphe and Makeup by Area brush. This one is the A19. And I'm gonna apply right here directly on my under eyes. Okay, so I think the shade, it's gonna be perfect. So because the coverage looks very light, first I'm gonna just lay it down with this brush so I can get a little bit more coverage. And then I'm gonna blend it with the Rare Beauty brush, as always. And then now I'm just gonna blend it a little tiny bit more with the Rare Beauty brush. It blends like butter, super quick and easy. And it's really, really creamy. It got rid of my dark circles, right away look how much more brightening and awake this eye looks wow with and without so you know that normally i apply my concealer and then i set it right away but i'm not gonna do it right now let me go in with the other eye and then i go back to this one and set it only because i want to leave it there for a few seconds to see how much it creases or if it creases. Let's see. But I really, really like this shade a lot. More than what I thought I was gonna like it. I do think that we're gonna have to set this concealer because the formula, it is really dewy and hydrating. But we never know. I do get a little bit more coverage with the concealer than the skin tint. So if you want a little bit more coverage, you can also get another concealer that is like your skin tone for spa concealing. Here you have the first eye that we blended. And as you can see, it is creasing right here on my lids and also on my under eyes. And it feels a little bit sticky, 
so I won't leave it like this. I don't like the feeling. So I'm gonna be applying a little bit of my Pomegranate powder. Let me just blend it a little tiny bit more right here before we set it. And then now let me blend down here. And also set it. This is how it looks with powder and without powder. The formula of this concealer is gonna be great for dry skin. So now we're gonna go in with the Solar Pain. It is $20 and this is made in Italy. This is available in four shades and the shades look interesting. It is a weightless bronzer designed to capture the warmth you get from spending a day in the sunshine. I picked up the shade Heat. It is a rich brown bronze with gold pearls for 10 deep complexions. I didn't need it to double dip. One was enough for my entire face. And this reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tober bronzers. Let's see how they look after we blend them because they look very shiny. And oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so that dried up very quickly. Okay, so this is very pigmented. So it got a lot more pigmentation than what I thought it was going to have. Next time, I'm gonna go by sections. I don't recommend you to do what I just did to apply it all over the face and then blend it because it is gonna be a little bit of a struggle. It looks a little patchy right here in this side. I'm gonna go over with my foundation brush and I'm gonna use whatever I have left here from when we apply the skin tint just to diffuse it a little tiny bit more and that looks better. This is a whip gel cream formula and it's funny because even though it is lightweight and thin, it got no texture. But this is the type of product that you have to apply it exactly where you want it and then diffuse it right in place. This is not the type of bronzer where you're going to apply it all over and then diffuse it. Not at all. This has to go exactly where you want it. Straight to the point. But now after I fixed it and blended it, I do like it again. The next time I'm going to go by sections because that's going to be a lot easier. But it did give me the perfect warmth and dimension and it does look like the sun just kiss my face <laughs> i'm gonna pick up a little bit with my morphe e62 brush and i'm just going directly like that because i don't want to apply too much let's see how it looks on the nose and boom see that's what i mean and you see how nice it applies when you apply it exactly where you want it. See, and then now I'm just gonna diffuse it a little bit right on top. This is something that if you use it on the crease of your eyes, it's gonna be really long lasting. I didn't think I was gonna like the shade but I like it. Now for blush, we're gonna go in with the Cloud Pain. This one is made in USA, and a lot of people talk good about these blushes, so. It is $20, and it's supposed to be a seamless, buildable gel cream blush, and I can't freaking open this. Can somebody help me? Okay, I did it. Here you have swatches of all the shades. Let me know right now in the comment section which one is your favorite shade. So, so far the concealer looks good, look. We already had it on for about an hour and it's not creasing. But you do have to set it with powder, for sure. 
I picked up the shade Storm. It is a warm rose. And we have to take this little steel over right here first. Mm. The girl Sephora, they told me to be careful because this packaging like explodes when you try to take it off. So let's just Okay, it didn't explode, but it came off like this, kind of messy. Look how pretty this shade it's given. Mm. I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here in the back of my hand. About that much. I'm gonna be using my Fenty brush. This is the 125. And I had a friend that told me that these blushes dry super fast. So we're gonna start by sections. That looks cute. First, we're gonna blend one cheek. So we're gonna start little by little. We're gonna apply and blend in one cheek and then we move to the other one. Okay, so it did pick up everything underneath. Why? Look at that big ass ugly patch. Let me try to fix it right here with my foundation brush. It is looking a little bit better. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit with my finger and let me just reapply it to see if maybe the application with the finger looks a little bit better. And I think it does. Mm, yeah, it's okay. It threw me off right off the bat because it did what it did. So I'm just gonna apply directly with my finger because See, it looks a lot better if you apply it with your finger. Look, it doesn't look patchy. It didn't pick nothing up. That looks good. And this shade, it's beautiful. See, it looks warm and rosy. It's giving me a beautiful, fresh, natural finish. I like this, not this. This looks patchy, but this looks pretty. Yep. I do recommend you that if you're gonna use these blushes, you're gonna have to apply them with your fingers because with the brush, it looks ew. I do like it. It's not the best gel cream blush that I tried before, but it's okay. Now we're gonna go in with the highlighter. It is made in Canada, and I picked up the shade Moonstone. This is the packaging. It comes in a little, what is this? Roll up situation. Put a little bit right here. Oh, that looks pretty. It's really dewy. And the formula, it is thick though. And it feels a little bit like Vaseline. Oh. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of the consistency of this highlighter. It is thick. Super thick and sticky. Look. Oof. No. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna like run it really quick with my finger. I mean, yes, I like the glow, but I do not like the formula. It is way too sticky and thick. I don't like it. You can actually see that I pretty much left all the makeup right there. I wouldn't even like this on bare skin. No. It's even bothering me on my arm. 
So for the eyes, I picked up one of the monochromes. To be honest with you, they have a lot of them and they all look chefkis. The colors are super pretty. And I picked up the shade Heather. It is $22, made in Canada, and the packaging feels very cheap. In my opinion, this one was the best one. You can use them alone or together. This one is the matte and it feels very smooth. And then here you have the satin. Oh, wow. That one it's given. And the metallic shade. So beautiful. So first we're gonna go in with the matte and I'm using the Rose and Bands brush. This one is the E29. And I'm just gonna pack it right here on my outer V. Actually, I'm gonna be switching brushes. I'm gonna be using the E28 also from Rose and Bands and I picked up a little bit more of the matte shade and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. I'm gonna be creating an AC monochromatic look. What I do feel, the you see it a lot look at the patches all over my lid see i switched brushes thinking that it was that but it's not that <laughs> it is definitely not my brushes what the heck is going on in here bro ew no this is not a good look Okay, with a flat brush, I'm gonna be picking up the satin shade. Let's see if we can fix it up a little bit with this. And I'm gonna also apply it all over my lid. And then now with the same flat brush, I'm gonna be picking up a little bit of the metallic and I'm gonna stamp it right on top. Huh? I don't like this. Wow. They look so pretty in the pen. We have to try this again because I'm actually impressed of how fucked up that went. Yeah, it's like the shadow don't want to stick to my lid. Look. Whatever, let me just do the same thing I did in the other eye. I'm going to apply the satin shade that is helping me hide the patches a little bit. And then I'm gonna go with the metallic right on top. I'm using a little bit of the satin shade for my lower lash because the matte shade, it's not working out. That's that. I don't love it, but we don't have another choice. I don't like this. I almost forgot to use this, what is it? Lit Star Situation. It is $18. Made in Italy. This is a dreamy shimmery eyeshadow and it is supposed to be a soft glistening eye color that lasts all day. So I'm just gonna pop it right here on my tear dog. And then let me pick up a little small brush. And I'm gonna just Blend it right on top. I do like the shade. It is a lot lighter than this three. Now let's see what's up with this mascara. This is the black one. They also have a brown one available. And you know that I'm very picky when it comes to mascaras. This looks like it's not for me. But let's see. Okay, so this is one pass. It's giving me a little bit of length with a little tiny bit of volume, more length than volume. But don't get me wrong, you do see it, the formulation is not too watery, so it's not gonna be too messy. Let's go in with the second coat. I like it, but it's not really lifting my eyelashes so for somebody with straight lashes this is not gonna be good i feel like it's more 
pushing them down if anything then up i do like it for the lower lashes a lot actually because look how much length it gave my bottom lashes okay so this is something that i would definitely use juice for my lower lashes last but not least we have this little thing for the brows but this is too tiny way too small and this is the shade black when i swatched it on my hand it looked a little bit more gray than black wow that's actually very gray i don't like that no this is gonna make the brows very ashy look how gray it is i know at this point, I'm already giving up. I think we're almost done. <laughs> no way, we got one more thing. The Ultra Lip. And this is $18. Made in USA. And they also have them available in like mad. But when I swatched them in the store, they were way too dry. I didn't like them. And this is the shade Tretch. Let's see how it looks in the lid. Mm, it feels a little rough. This is a toffee brown. I thought they were gonna be a little like softer and they were gonna glide a little more. And I don't like the smell. And this don't match with this. I mean. It does make the lips look juicy, hydrating. All right, babes, we are done with the look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up right now. And we definitely have... This is very sticky. I was gonna tell you I like it, but not really. We definitely have some hits and misses. More misses than hits, but... It is what it is. And the only thing that I really, really like out of all the products that we tried in today's video, it is the skin tint. That's it. And this is something that I know it's not going to be for everybody, but hey, for summer, I like it. I also like it for mature skins, for more like a wash of color, to even out your skin, to just give you a little sum sum. And I also really like this for little girls, teenagers, if you have a daughter that is now getting into makeup. This is gonna give her a little pretty base without looking like makeup. Don't get me wrong, I also really like the concealer, but it's not like, wow, go hurry up and buy it. You need it in your life, not at all. And I don't know what's up with this eyeshadow man like what the heck the colors are so pretty but the formula the way it blends the way it applies everything about it it was just what is that no but hey even though i really really wanted to love all the other products i just cannot recommend them but make sure you let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about these products and i love you to the moon and back Mwah. see you on the next one